bringing in U.S. Senator Roy Blunt, Republican Missouri, to the program. Senator, how are you this morning? Hey, Greg, I'm, I'm good, and it's good to talk to you. I'm, uh, I was in Kansas City early this morning, and right now I'm almost to uh, the northwest corner of the state, driving up to uh, Rockport and then Oregon uh, County to talk to people that have been dramatically and devastatingly affected by the flooding uh, along the river for months now and uh, to see what needs to be done to get the Corps and other organizations to do the work that they need to be doing. Yeah, what is the latest on the kind of relief that is going to come from the federal government in terms of the flood insurance? Well, in, in terms of uh, the, 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 what the government's doing, the you know, money that's available for the work that needs to be done is is now the critical uh, the critical moment, and it's getting these uh, roads back in shape. It's getting the levees back in place. Uh, one of the commissioners I'm going to see this morning made the observation about lots of businesses that are closed and have been because of the of the road closures that uh, the factory doesn't open until the road opens and the road doesn't open uh, the highway doesn't open until you have flood protection and you don't have flood protection until you get the levy back and you don't get the levy back till you have the money and so this is uh, it's easy to focus on crops and crop land and that's an important part of of the economic loss here but there's a lot of economic loss in these communities just because people haven't been able to get to work people haven't been able to get uh, to the, uh, uh, the, the the business that uh, has suffered through uh, 90 and 100 uh, you know, 90 and 120 days of, of the kind of flooding problems we've had so is there a problem getting this money to repair the roads or the levees or is that already on the way uh, you know, there's a big problem with the levy money, and uh, I'm fighting hard to see that we get it uh, on the way. The Corps has had money uh, appropriated by uh, the Congress, planned by the administration for the wrong things for a long time, and that's what uh, Missouri uh, people in Washington have been saying for a decade now, right. is that you're planning for disaster. And in fact, our friends all along the river, but particularly in Holden, and Atchison County in the northwest corner, have lived now three out of the last four years with flooding that is almost a certain product of the plan that uh, Kit Bond fought, that Sam Graves fought, that I fought, uh, and now we're working hard to see if we can't convince others. And we have got uh, all the senators, and, and Senator McCaskill and I, along with the two North Dakota senators put a Missouri River working group together, and the Missouri River states have never worked together on the river, but this year all seven states are flooded, and we ought to take advantage of that moment where everybody understands the problem that we, we have in the southern part of the river now year after year because of a plan that doesn't work. Right. Senator Blunt, on, on repairing these roads and levees, from what I understand, there is money in the Army Corps' budget, but they're saying, well, we have to spend that money on environmental concerns and, you know, the snail dart and the titi fly and all these other kind of things. I know that's not the right ones, but you know what I mean. It's always the same thing. Um, can't well, we just, can't exactly we just shift right. that you money for now, lose. Senator Blunt? Can't we, we just... We, can we just shift that money sure. for now and get these things done that we need and worry about that a little bit later? You, you can shift some of that money for now, though. Even that money doesn't uh, meet the needs of, of the loss we've had in, in levy and other things. But the point you're making, you know, we've had uh, people call our office, uh, and I've talked to people now who say, look, if we called and said, what are you? Can you, can you do what you're supposed to do uh, to provide the flood protection that the federal government's guaranteed us? And the answer is, well, we really don't have money for that, but we could buy your farm. Right. Now you can imagine how outraged that makes a hardworking Missouri farming family when they're told we have money to buy your farm. We don't have uh, the less amount of money it would take to fix your levy. You know, what we ought to do is sell some of the land back that we bought and use that money to fix the flood. Well, there there is an active uh, view that uh, I share that uh, the federal government owns plenty of land. Uh, it doesn't mean there's never anything else that might become federal property, but we ought to think now about the, what we could 
what we need to, to sell back rather than what we need to buy. And, Senator Blunt, I know that for the continuing resolution here to keep the government moving since the Democratic-controlled Senate won't pass a new budget and hasn't in over 800 days. Uh, right. Eric, I think we're actually at 900 days. 900 now. now. Eric Cantor, of course, in the House said, hey, we, we have no problem giving all the emergency funding we need, but we do need to offset that in some other areas that we could cut. And the Democrats went crazy over that. What in the world is wrong with, with cutting spending other places? Not saying we're not going to fund the emergency funding for these kind of relief efforts. We'll do that. But why not cut spending somewhere else for that? Well, well there's nothing wrong with that. And, you know, we had... Uh, uh, the, the breakdown that is still the big question this week is I go back to Washington later today and others return to Washington from all over the country is whether or not we were going to have uh, a billion dollars of pay for levy repairs and flood control. Uh, and it's very concerning to me. We've asked this super committee to find a thousand billion dollars and the House and Senate couldn't agree on the first billion on something that uh, satisfies an obvious need. Uh, it makes me wonder how they're going to find the other thousand billion if they couldn't find the first billion. I mean, a trillion dollars is what we're supposedly going to find to cut the budget by over the next 10 years, 1.2 trillion, and we couldn't agree on a billion? Right. It's, just, it's ridiculous. Ex Frankly, it's ridiculous either way. This was a fight about nothing either way. Whether Senator we were going to pay for a billion or not, because there was $3.6 in the House bill, uh, 2.6, they said, well, that's part of the budget plan, and since we don't have a balanced budget and that's the agreed, that comes out of money we'd agreed would be there for emergencies. Uh, I agree with Eric. We ought to find the money to pay for this. Uh, but I think people are tired of a totally dysfunctional federal government uh, that argues about uh, the wrong thing when we should be taking all that same energy and talking about where we find the thousand billion, the trillion dollars we need to find, rather than where we're going to let a whole uh, r relief package, an emergency package, blow up over whether or not we agree on the billion. Uh, it was um, a foolish thing to be arguing about, uh, and uh, we need to get on with the work that needs to be done and find the money that needs to be found to get the whole federal budget back in balance rather than whether or not we're going to have uh, an extra uh, three or four hundred million for the Corps of Engineers to rebuild these levees in Missouri and other places. Sure, of course, the other, the other side of that argument would be if, if you can't even figure it out when you have something pressing like this emergency bill, then how in the world are you going to cut the spending when you don't have something like that hanging over your head? It's almost like Congress yeah, exactly. needs that hanging exactly over their head right. to do something. Yeah. Senator Blunt with me here on the Casey Moe Morning Show. Hey, let me ask you uh, another way to really cut the spending is something we've been talking about a lot here. This whole idea of baseline budgeting, that every year you start with what the federal government is already spending and then add to it, and it approximately increases our spending about 8% every year. We didn't used to do that. We started that in the early 70s. What about a movement, Senator Blunt, to really help cut spending by saying, let's stop the baseline budgeting. Let's go back to what most companies do. You start at zero, and every year every department has to justify what they spend their money on, and then Congress approves it. What about that? Uh I agree with that totally, and uh, I'd add one other uh, element to that. Uh, we, pro we ought to go to two-year appropriating, two-year budgeting rather than one, uh, and uh, make them justify the two-year spending and not even appropriate money in election year. Go back the year after the election, appropriate the money for two years, spend election year figuring out how we can save money rather than how we can spend money. Hmm, that's interesting. Now, how about this uh, job, the so-called jobs bill? There's not a single co-sponsor in the Senate with Harry Reid. There's not a single co-sponsor in the House, and I'm sorry, the man's name escapes me from Connecticut, who has sponsored it, but he doesn't have a single co-sponsor on either side of the House or the Senate for his so-called jobs bill. And now Senator Durbin says there are a lot of Democrats who are against this, uh, and yet President Obama keeps saying pass this bill. What's going on here? Well, the, the, the bill has – the president has no intention of this bill becoming law. This bill is even more of a political document uh, than the things that he was doing last year. 
no intention of this becoming law. It is the stimulus package, uh, basically the, the, the redone, and we all know that package didn't work. Uh, and it's all about politics instead of about leadership. We need to be focused on more private sector jobs, which has very little to do with the government spending money. That has a whole lot more to do with the government saying, here's what the regulations are going to be, and we're not going to change them. Here's what the tax structure is going to be. Here's what your utility bill is going to look like. Those are things government can do something about, and then private sector job creators can put that all into the calculation and decide if they're willing to risk their money to create these jobs or not. Uh, and the president does not understand this. The president doesn't understand the risk-reward element of capitalism. Uh, and if people don't take risks, they don't create opportunity for others. Uh, and the president has thrown a big wet blanket on top of this economy with his constant discussion of more regulation, more taxes, higher utility bills, and unknown health care costs uh, with the health care plan. And the American people are tired of it. Uh-oh. I think we may have just lost Senator Blunt. There you go. Frankly, more than anything else. Got gotcha. you. We're Senator Blunt. We're losing your cell phone connection. Um, I, I'm going to let you. I'm going to let you run because I think we're about to drop you. Uh, just, thanks so much for being with us. We'll talk with you again soon. Uh,